Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy here with former NFL head coach Hugh Jackson. When you were fired by the Browns, it was reported that you fell into a pretty deep depression. Oh, yeah. Is that true? Yes. What, what exactly were you going through? Well, I think uh, when you think of all the losses and you're putting everything you have into this, and then people walk in and tell you you're not good enough anymore. Mm -hmm. When you know that you're sacrificing at every level to get the organization to where it needs to be, that was surprising to me and really caught me off guard. It's first time in my career I've ever been fired during a season. And I remember getting in my car and driving towards home and it just feeling like the whole world stopped. And you go home and you have to face family and friends, and that's hard to look at them and say, I just wasn't good enough. So I kind of locked myself away downstairs in the basement and stayed there for about three days, and it was tough, but I uh, had to come out of it. Did you ever start to doubt yourself? Uh, those things do creep in your head, mm -hmm. you know, because there was a lot of losing. And so when you think of that, you know, there's always this other person in your head that's trying to tell you, well, maybe you are just a loser but your faith and your friends and your family put you back on the right track. Is it hard to when, I mean, when you're an NFL head coach, you live, eat, sleep, breathe football. Absolutely. And so when that's taken away from you and you have the criticism on top of it, mm -hmm. that football really defined who you were? You know, I, I don't want to say that it did because okay. there's more to me than just football, but at the time, you're so into it because you want to be the person that turns the Cleveland Browns around. I mean, that's just, you build your legacy that way. Mm -hmm. So you pour everything you have into it. And when you're done, you're, you're empty. There's, yeah. there's nothing left in the tank. So was it almost like your legacy was being taken away? Absolutely. I, I watched it just slip right through my hands. What was the darkest point for you? <sighs> Probably the piling on. You know, probably day four, you know, people not truly understanding um, all of it. You know, there's more to it. And we are football coaches, but we're also human. And uh, we go through things just like everybody else, maybe even doubly so. So that part was hard and making, trying to get people to understand that I was a human being and not just a football coach. Yeah, that happens, huh? Mm -hmm. You said that you wanted people to understand that you're human. Mm -hmm. um, I think coaches kind of get like the short end of the stick because all the focus is on the athletes and there's been a lot of talk about mental health with athletes, but not really so much with head coaches. Do you think that that's something that we need to bring more attention to? Absolutely, and I'm gonna do everything I can on my part to do that because the coaching side of it might be even greater or as great as the player side. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people who deal with a lot of different emotional and mental emotional things that go on in football. You know, I, I know for a fact most coaches, when they're sick, they don't miss work. Yeah. And when they need to go to the doctor, they don't go. And when things happen in the family and they can't be there to help, that weighs on coaches mm -hmm. and maybe it affects performance. But there are some issues that I know that I've seen uh, being in coaching that we need just as much support as the players do. You were recognized with a humanitarian award. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're trying to do? Uh, well, I'm, I, I'm, that really, that award came to me because of the work that my foundation is doing in human trafficking. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done an outstanding job of partnering with the Salvation Army in Cleveland. We have a, a residence there mm -hmm. uh, that we house uh, ladies or men who have been involved in human trafficking. Okay, coming up, more with Hugh Jackson. Check out our YouTube channel, Fair Game, on FS1 to catch all the best highlights of our show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.